Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the rule to add positive and negative numbers, and we're going to use this simple prompt to help us remember how to add positive and negative numbers. Now, as a math teacher that's been teaching for uh, decades, I can tell you right now that a lot of students just simply forget the rule. They're like, oh yes, I think I remember how to do this. They write an answer down and it's wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna give you two easy models that you can remember so you don't have to always try to re uh, memorize some sort of rule because when you just try to use what we call rote memory, this is a good word for you if you don't know what this means, rote, uh, that just simply means you know, you're just uh, trying to memorize things like you memorized your ABCs or your multiplication tables. Uh, when we're dealing with positive and negative numbers, it's, there's actually a couple good models that are very uh, easy to understand. So anytime you question whether, in fact, you did a problem right when you're um, adding positive and negative numbers, you can just reference these models and then you'll, um, you know, have high confidence that, in fact, uh, you have the correct answer. Now, if you uh, know how to answer this question, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section and uh, tell me also how you remember um, how to add positive and negative numbers. In other words, how do you think about a problem like this? Because obviously, you know, of course, we're not using our calculator. You need some sort of way to remember how to uh, come up with the correct sign. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the correct answer to this and of course, uh, show you these two easy ways to uh, remember how to add positive and negative numbers uh, correctly. Um, also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so 30 plus negative 50, hopefully this is not that difficult of a problem, but uh, let's go ahead and see the answer that correct answer is negative 20. All right, so if you got that right, that's fantastic. If you didn't get this right, I'm pretty sure you would get this prompt correct uh, after you finish watching this video. But let's go ahead and give you a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars so you can tell your friends and family that indeed you are an expert when it comes to adding positive and negative numbers. They'll be like, wow, you must be some sort of math genius, which indeed I think you are. Okay, so there's a, a different models that you can uh, learn uh, when you're dealing with positive and negative numbers, and they're all good. Uh, it just really comes down to which one uh, you know you remember. So uh, first of all, before I show you a couple easy ways to think about this, uh, the first thing is typically for most math students, you're going to learn basically the rule. Okay, when you have positive and negative numbers and you're adding them. What do you do? So you definitely need to understand that rule. Uh, so I'm not trying to uh, diminish that. What I'm trying to um, do here is give you kind of a memory aid just in case you get confused. Uh, you can kind of reference uh, some of these things that I'm gonna tell you in just one second so you can ensure you have the correct uh, answer. Now the second thing you can uh, do is use a number line. I'll show you this um, uh, kind of model here in a second. Now this particular model is, I think it's pretty good, but I'm not sure it's the best model. And of course, I have a couple other models here um, that I'm gonna show you here in just one second. So again, there's different ways, different models that you could use to remember um, how to add and subtract positive and negative numbers because positive and negative numbers are something, uh, they're uh, basically number types that are part of what we call the real number system, okay? So just a quick, quick uh, review here. So the real number line is this number line that you probably know. You have zero right here in the middle, and then you have the positive numbers like one, two, uh, three, this uh, direction. And you have negative one, negative two, negative three, and you have all the positive and negative decimals, fractions, etc., on this number line. This is what we call the real number line, okay? So this is what we're talking about. How do you deal with positive and negative numbers? Uh, so it's not just multiplying, I'm sorry, not just adding, it's also subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. What we're gonna do here is just simply focus on how to add positive and negative numbers. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first model, and this is my 
favorite model, and I'm, hopefully it's going to be your favorite model as well, is the money model. I mean, like who doesn't like money? Everyone likes money, and uh, the money model uh, for positive and negative numbers is very, very practical. Now, uh, in financial statements, okay, the money model is really kind of, you know, uh, actually used. So uh, I don't know if you've had the privilege yet to actually get yourself a bill, okay? In other words, you know, something comes in the mail or in your email it says, hey, you owe something, all right? You're going to uh, see that you have like a negative number. Let's say you owe $100 for your internet service. Well, there's like a negative 100, right? Now, not, not always, but you'll see a negative sign, okay? So what does that mean um, uh, in financial terms? Well, let's just kind of go through this model, uh, money model real quick. If you have a positive number, in other words, like positive uh, 15, uh, you want to kind of think that you actually have money. You have that amount, okay? So if you have a positive 15 or like a 15, if I had a 15 right here, what's the sign of that number? Well, you're, you might be saying, well, there's no sign. Well, if you don't see a negative sign, uh, by default, it's positive, okay? So if you have a positive number, just think of that as money in your bank account or money in your pocket, so that's pretty cool. Now, if you see a negative number, it's the opposite, okay? Think of this as you owe money, okay? You owe someone money, you owe your best friend $5, that would be like negative five, okay? Or you have a bill, that's negative 100. Effectively, this is uh, what we call debt, okay, D-E-B-T, uh, debt, okay, so you have debt. All right, so if you kind of uh, just remember, positive numbers is you have money, negative numbers is you owe money. All we have to do is just kind of figure out our financial situation, and let me show you uh, in this particular example right here. Okay, so here we're going to uh, figure out 30 plus negative 50. All right, so this 30 is what? It's a positive value. Now, you're not gonna write positive 30, but you just need to recognize that that's in fact what it is. Okay, so this is positive 30. This is like we have $30, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's $30 in your bank account or $30 in your pocket, whatever, however you wanna think about it. Now, here we have $30 plus negative 50. All right, so this negative 50 is we owe money. We owe someone or some uh, thing uh, $50. Now, if we have uh, $30 and we owe someone $50 or some place $50, well, what happens? Well, here's uh, what happens, right? You're going to give all your $30 to pay off this debt, right? So this person's like, thank you very much. I'll accept your uh, $30, but you still owe me how much, okay? Well, if you give this person all your $30, how much do you still owe them? Okay, well, you have to subtract these two numbers, right? You still owe them uh, $20. So the answer is negative 20, okay? So let's just kind of take a look at this again, uh, just so we can kind of see this here. Uh, now, when you look at this, uh, let me just kind of erase all this so we can concentrate on this again. So which is larger, your debt, how much you owe, or how much money you have? Well, you could see here, we owe more than we have, okay? So we owe more than we have, so our uh, real financial situation is we are in uh, what we call debt, okay? But again, if we have $30, positive 30, we go to pay this off, uh, we still, um, you know, we still owe this person negative 20. So 30 plus negative 50 is a negative 20. Now, the rule, you know, of course, you're going to do, when you have positive and negative numbers, you would subtract the absolute value difference, and then the uh, larger number, the sign of that, would in fact be the sign of the answer. So uh, typically, where uh, math students get confused is what is the sign. They know that they know to subtract, they just forget which is the correct sign. So here, again, you could just say, oh, I have more. Uh, I owe more than I actually have, so my answer is going to be negative. All right, so I, uh, from my experience, the money model is typically uh, a super easy way to think about adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. But let's go ahead and take a look at another model, and there's other models as well. Uh, I'm going to call this the level model, okay? Now, what am I talking about? Well, let's go ahead and, first of all, just define a couple things here. So positive numbers or a positive value is you're going in the up direction and a negative number 
would represent going in the opposite direction, going uh, kind of down, right? So you kind of think of this like, let's say here is the sea, okay, the ocean, and here we have the sea level, all right? So here is a, let's hear my depiction of a submarine. It is at what? Well, it's at zero uh, feet right now, correct? So if it goes down 100 feet, it would be right here, okay? So it would be at, a, let's say, its level would be a negative 100 feet. Now, an airplane flying up here, okay, I'm just doing my little artistic skills, and let's suppose this airplane is flying 200 feet above sea level. Now, sea level would represent zero feet. Okay, so this is like you're, you don't have any height, you're totally flat. So this airplane would might be at, let's say, positive 500 feet. Okay, so again, from zero, positive numbers are going up in this direction and negative numbers are going in this direction. So we can kind of uh, use this model to kind of figure out um, how to add positive and negative numbers. All right, so 30 plus negative 5, remember uh, positive numbers are kind of going up and negative numbers are going down. So we're gonna go up 30, and then we're gonna kind of turn around and go down 50 in the opposite direction. So we can kind of think of it like this. So here is our kind of maybe our sea level line, our zero line. So we're gonna go up 30, okay, then we're gonna stop, right, because this is positive 30, and then we're gonna go down negative 50 in the opposite direction. So what we're doing is we're uh, kind of going back that 30, okay, but we have 20 more to go uh, to, to uh, have negative 50, right? So we'll, we'll end up right here at this level at negative 20. Okay, so these are two models, um, you know, and both of these uh, models are really good because, we, again, we're dealing with the real number system, real number, not reals, real real numbers, right? So some of you might be saying, well, you know, why do we need to know about positive and negative numbers? Because there's a lot of real life situations that we actually assign positive values and negative values to. Okay. So that's why uh, we have them. Now I did say that I was going to give you another model and that model is the following. Okay. So this is, uh, you know, this one's a pretty good model. You might see this out there. Uh, let me go ahead and show you. So here is zero. So where would a uh, positive, the problem again is 30 plus negative 50, right? Of course, we know the answer is negative 20. So what you can do is you start with one, uh, you locate one value on the real number line. So here is 30. So let's uh, go over here. So let's say uh, 10, 20, 30, and this would be 30. Okay. So now 30 is going in this direction. Now to get to negative 50, we're gonna go in the opposite direction, okay? So here, we wanna to go to negative, um, we're gonna displace negative 50, and where, do we, or where are we gonna go, uh, where, where are we going to land, right? So basically, we went from here to positive 30, now we're going to go the opposite direction. So uh, this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, so now we end up back over here, uh, and what's this location? This would be negative 20, okay? Because we went from positive 30, we're going negative 50 in the opposite direction. So it's still directional. It's just another kind of model. But uh, this particular model, I think, is pretty good. But what, you know, it, and there's other models out there as well. Again, from my um, experience, the money model seems to uh, really, um, you know, uh, go well with a lot of students. One, because you're going to actually see it in practical real life. And then two, you know, who isn't interested in money? And of course, if your friend borrows money from you, you can be like, hey, no, no, you owe me money or I already paid you off. You know, you can keep your financial business in order. All right. So either way, just make sure you totally understand how to work with positive and negative numbers. And if you need help with this, let me give you a couple uh, suggestions. One, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel about uh, uh, positive and negative numbers, how to work with you know all the operations there. But if you want my best full instruction, I wanna recommend two courses. Both you can find in the uh, uh, description. The links are in the uh, description below. Uh, first is my math foundation course. That's like a basic math review, a quick little mini course. Uh, so if you are looking to refresh in basic mathematics, that's the course you want to check out um, and or pre-algebra. I also teach us in algebra as well, but you'll see all my courses uh, below. 
Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.